In this new lesson, we're gonna learn how to build our blog page and also how to customize our posts with Elementor. So first of all, we're gonna go to pages, add new, then we're gonna call it whatever you would like. Maybe I will call this one blog. Then we're gonna customize it from here. So for our blog, it's not gonna be the same like our other pages. So mainly we're gonna leave our sidebar and maybe the website title in here. So let's go customize that together. We're gonna make the content layout as 100% full width. And for the sidebar, we're gonna leave it as it is on default. And for the sidebar, we're gonna choose to make sidebar, okay? Because like in the sidebar area, you can add even other parts, okay? You can add footer one or two or three or even search results for sidebar or whatever. So we're gonna leave it on sidebar. And then we're gonna disable our margins. So we can set this one to default to have our sidebar active on our blog page. If we made it on 100% width, there will be no sidebar on our page. So we're gonna leave it on default. And for the header, for disable and enable the display header and we're gonna make this one on our main menu and then for our title we're gonna enable that and you can choose either custom title or that one will appear okay so and same goes for any page you have so as you can see enable or disable the page title and we can customize that one you can call it anything you would like maybe same like we did in there blog as well and you can choose to style it from here centered or centered minimal or background image or whatever you would like but we're gonna leave it as it is for now and then we're gonna update or publish that to our page first time we're doing that so it's gonna be published and now we have our page published and we have its link okay and you can go to view that page from here if you would like you're gonna see that we have the sidebar by now and then we're gonna start customizing but before we do that we can do it from our customizer or even from the wordpress so we're going to go to our settings then we have reading in here then you're gonna see that you have front page displays static page and we got that one set to our front page home then we have our posts page we're gonna select our posts page to be blog so whenever you're making a new post from here, it will be automatically added to our blog page, okay? And this could be changing according to your theme, but but most of the cases it's gonna be like that, a static page. And also we have the blog page options to show at most 10 posts from here. And we have the for each article in feed, either full text or summary. And if you got this one checked, make sure to uncheck it because like it's very important for your SEO ranking. Then we're gonna go and save changes, okay? Then once saved, let's go back to our page. And I really prefer to refresh our page before we start working if we made any changes to our WordPress dashboard, okay? You can do also the same steps from here, static front page, if you would like to make your front page, customize it from here and your post page, okay? And also for our blog section in here, we have blog entries and single posts. We're gonna start by blog entries in here and you can change your layout from here if you would like to make your sidebar on the right or left or even customize your layout the way you would like. But the most common layout for the sidebar is on the right. So we're gonna set it back to its place. It does look quite weird in here. This our eyes visual center. So you would like to focus on your post instead of getting your menu or your sidebar in your eyes visual center. So your important design element, try to keep it in that part of your design, okay? And you can customize your blog style from here. We have large images or you can set it to be grid. Of course, if we have posts, we're gonna see it better. And by the way, this is a default post that we get with our WordPress and we can remove that one later then we have our image size we can control that one to make it medium large or large even thumbnails then we have grid column if we are choosing grid we can customize how many columns we would like now we have two of them we can increase that up to six columns four for example will make our posts like that so we get one and two three four 
and I would love to set it back to uh, maybe two. Then we have our grid style, we can change it from here. Also, we have the excerpt length, which is how many words you would like to see from your blog post. You can increase or decrease from here. Then we have the log pagination style, which you would like to make it in finite scroll or next preview or standard as you would like. And here we have the elements positioning, which we can customize like that. We have the featured image can go over the title. If you have any image related to your blog post can be on top of that. Or you can choose to rearrange your title to make it maybe underneath your content if you would like to do that. <laughs> maybe it doesn't make sense, but like I'm showing you an example. So like you got our title in here now. I'm gonna set it back to its default. And also I'm gonna hide some of these elements. For example, I'm gonna hide meta and author, date, categories, and I'm gonna leave comments, okay? And you can even hide that if you would like. So it's your website and you can customize it the way you would like. And also you can hide the content itself if you like, which is your blog posting, okay? So you will have your title and continue reading without any content. But I think leaving uh, the content is nice, okay? Then once you're done with that, you're gonna save and publish. And now we're going to publish our post. But before that, I wanna tell you about these elements. We just customized in here. They are within our page. While we have our meta and author and all that in our sidebar, we're gonna customize them in a little while. And we're gonna learn how to customize our sidebar and add all our widgets to this section, okay? Because this is called a widget section as well, just like our footer area, okay? But first we will publish our post. And we can do that either from our WordPress dashboard from here like posts or even we can publish a new post from here from new then post okay so we're gonna do it from here anyway new post and here we can enter our title then we need to customize our post to be edited with Elementor so we're gonna do the same settings for the other pages so we're gonna make this one 100% and sidebar default then we're gonna disable our margins and um, for the header we're gonna disable that and enable then we have our main menu then for the title we're gonna disable our title okay and we're uh, then we're gonna publish our post then edit with Elementor okay now we can add a template for our post or even design it from scratch but usually we use templates for that reason we have blog post templates and we're going to choose that one, blog post, launch, and that's how it looks like. Very nice and clean. And so customizable. So you can edit your content, you can start working on that blog post. Just like you do on other pages. So for example, we have header section in here. And it's so customizable, as you can see, you can start editing your sections and widgets and you can add what you would like. And even you can customize your background in here if you don't like this one or style it the way you'd like. So you can add any other color, maybe like that or that and so on. And even you can edit that image slider or even add more images if you would like and fully customize your blog post, okay? And then once you're done with that, you're gonna save that to your page. So this is our post done. Let's check out our page. We're gonna refresh that. And now we can see our new post added to our website. And you can click your post. And you're gonna see your blog post. So easily done, okay? You can customize it the way you would like fully customizable with Elementor. You know how to do it guys anyway. And I want you guys to unleash your creativity even for blog posting, okay? So now back to our page again. And here we have our post, but doesn't have any images featured to our post or associated to our post. So we can do that and even customize our sidebar and customize our entire page. So let's go back to dashboard from here, okay? Maybe I want to leave this one opened. I usually do that, open two tabs or three and start moving around instead of opening a page and closing it again. But make sure before you work on this one is to refresh. 
to have your latest settings in here activated and valid in the other tab okay now the first thing we need to do is to add that newly added page which is our blog page to our menu we need to go to appearance and we have menus and now we have our main menu which is active now in our website and we need to add our newly created page in here to menu okay you can arrange its order the way you would like i would leave it at the end then i'm gonna save menu now we need to add an image to our post all posts in here and we can categorize our posts from here and um, by the way there is another way to do uh, blog posting so stay tuned and you're gonna see it later okay so now we have our newly created post edit that one by clicking on it or we have edit button in here and as you can see we have our format in here we can choose to make it video gallery or anything if you have a different post type in here and you can also add a new category in here and set that post to be categorized in that new category or even multiple categories then we have our tags in here that you can tag your post for searches or even for your menu footer and you can choose from templates either elementor canvas or leave it as it is but we're gonna leave it as it is and then we have our featured image so set featured image in here and you can add that image for example to our post okay set featured image as you can see and now you can update your post you can go and check that out in your page by refreshing the page and as you can see we have our image in here okay now let's go customize our sidebar for this page we're gonna go to our appearance and widgets okay so the sidebar is within our widgets area okay and we have our available widgets for the wordpress in here you have all these widgets which we were using earlier for our footer section and here we have our sidebar and we have the search recent posts and comments archives categories and meta and all that okay then you have your search results sidebar and your footer one which we customized earlier you can recustomize them from here also and that's simply done by dragging the widget outside your footer area or even adding more widgets to your area and same goes for your sidebar and your footer two three four okay so to imagine what are these you can see your blog page and here you have recent posts and recent comments and archives categories and meta okay so i think this is too much so let's go and edit that one so we're gonna remove our meta section delete and also categories we don't need that unless you have too many categories or you want to leave that in your sidebar archives as well and also recent comments so we have our search and recent posts and you can add your MailChimp or Instagram or social icons. Let's add maybe our social icons to our sidebar. And you can customize your title from here or style, make it light, dark, colored. We did that one before in our footer section. So you can do the same in here and you can insert your social links in here. And once you're done, you're gonna save that to your sidebar section and we're gonna move that one to our sidebar section because it was in the search result sidebar so i'm gonna get it in here so we have our search recent posts and social icons okay and we can add also facebook like box if you would like for example and let's add our url in here and you can say check our facebook page for new tutorials and we can customize it from here we have our color scheme we can set it light colors or dark and also we have show faces let's uncheck this one for your followers privacy you can uncheck this one so not everyone will be seeing the profiles of your fans and also we would leave that one unchecked and you can choose to show wall or not but i will check this one to show you how it looks like let's save this one and then let's review our page so this is how it looks like you can see your facebook you can like from here and you have your recent posts 
So as you can see, we have now a minimal and cleaner sidebar. Now we need to customize our post in here. We're going to open our post in new tab. In here we have our post and we have our featured image in here. And it's quite too large. Maybe we should have used a smaller one. So keep that in mind while you're working on your blog post. And now let's go for customization for this single post. Now we're going to go to blog and we have single post and we have the same settings for the blog page but we're going to work on that blog post. So we have our page header title, we can make it our post title instead. And if we select that one, we will have some options for our featured image in page header. Personally, I prefer to hide this featured image and just use it for decoration outside in here. And if I would like to use that image again inside, I will use it within our Elementor page builder, not within our page. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, I will move this one to the bottom of our page. Then now it's here, as you can see, because for some reason it doesn't go away if it's in the top. So you have to move it at the bottom and then it will be hidden. Okay. And then we have our meta, which is this part and tags and content and all of that. I'm going to hide all of them except for our content okay and maybe I will leave our title or even hide it so let's go ahead and even we might leave the author and hide all of those we can hide all of that I'm gonna get rid of that tags and meta and maybe our title as well and this is how it's gonna look like with your logo and menu and now as you can see guys we got a very nice and clean post or blog post that we can share and spread our post in different ways and we can edit with Elementor and have a very unique and customizable look. So back to our page in here we have our featured image that we can use as decoration for our outside then we're gonna hide it inside as I told you my recommendation for that. And then we want to customize the look of our header for this page. And we can do that by the customizer. And here we have our general options page title. So we can style it and make it background image. And remember we got that page title disabled in all other pages. So this will be applied only on our blog page. And we can select our image for that section. And we can select that image for example. And then you can control its position, top center, attachments, and even customize its cover. You can control its height. Maybe like that is fine. And we have overlay opacity, which is black color. You can make it less to have your image more visible. Or even you can make it darker like that. Or maybe like that. And you can choose its size also to make it auto or cover and you can choose to hide the breadcrumbs if you would like from here or leave it and or even customize it from here and you can hide it it's gonna hide or re-apply it again and once you're happy with that you can save and publish and you can preview your page from here like that and that's how you create a blog page with the Elementor in absolutely free way. There is also another way that you can do that through the Pro version of Elementor. You have that amazing drag and drop post tool that you can use to create your blog page. And for the WordPress, we have the post section in here. And we have categories, okay? So you can categorize your posts from here and you can start creating different categories for your different posts. Maybe you have posts about cars, for example, or anything you want to talk about. And you can add a slug, which is URL friendly version of your name. So you, if you have a name with a space and capital and all that, you can have it in lowercase and contains only letters, numbers and hyphens. So no spaces or upper cases and so on. For our case, uh, we have cars, so it's not going to be difference unless we don't have an upper case. 
and here you can set a parent category for that category so for example we can create another category which is called vehicle and make it parent category to cars now we don't have anything but the default uncategorized so we can choose that one and you can give it a description if you would like and it's not going to be visible for most of the themes however some might show it as said in description here and then you can add that new category and later you can add your posts to that category okay so that's how you categorize your posts and that was our lesson for blog posts i hope you can go and create your blog posting page and go creative with that and if you have any questions i would be more than happy to help you out okay thank you so much for your time that was khalil ibrahim and i will be seeing you in next video take care bye